Hey everybody, welcome back to Podcastage. My name's Bandrew and I'm back with another microphone test video for you guys. Today I'm testing out this guy or this guy, which is the MXL770 as requested by our viewer, Alpha KD. And if you are interested in this microphone, it'll set you back about $75. And as per usual, I will link it in the description. I also want to note that I'm connecting this to my computer using the Focusrite Scarlet Solo uh, with the 48 volts phantom power turned on. And my microphone input gain is set at maybe 50 or 55%. So let's go ahead and talk about what you get in the box. Obviously, you're going to get the microphone. You also get the microphone shock mount. You get a plastic hard shell carrying case. You also get some documentation. And it comes with a one-year warranty. So as far as the build quality, it's actually really nice. It has full metal construction. It has a metal body, metal grill, all that stuff. And it also has some substantial weight to it. On the back, you also have two switches. One is a bass roll-off, which allows you to decrease the bass frequencies picked up by the microphone which will help with overly boomy sounds. The other switch is a 10 decibel pad, which decreases the signal in case you're miking any really loud sound sources. Now let's go ahead and talk about the specs. So as I already mentioned, this is a condenser microphone and that means it requires some power to work. And the power requirement listed on the spec sheet is 48 volts plus or minus four volts. So in theory, this should only work if you're giving it at least 44 volts of phantom power. It also lists the polar pattern as cardioid, and here is a visualization of that, and we'll also test that in a second. And the frequency response is listed at 30 hertz to 20 kilohertz. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and spin the microphone around to determine what the actual polar pattern is and see how the frequency response changes as we move into different orientations around the microphone. Okay, and now I am banging on a keyboard directly behind the microphone to see how much of my voice versus how much of the keyboard behind it it picks up. Now I am one foot away from the microphone. Now I am two feet away from the microphone. Now I'm about four feet away from the MXL 770. <laughs> and tacos so overall i think it's a pretty nice sounding microphone i thought it sounded great on the electric guitar both with medium and high gain on vocals i thought it sounded really nice and warm as well on the acoustic i thought it sounded fine but my personal preference for acoustic guitars is to have a little bit more high end than mids and lows this microphone is just not designed to be as bright as other microphones out there which will fit some people's needs perfectly but a lot of other people won't like that it's lacking a little bit in the high end as far as who this is for i don't think gamers should really buy this sure it sounds great but to me it seems like it's designed more as an entry-level microphone for people who are looking to record music and not just do gaming voiceovers or live commentaries or anything like that all right guys well i guess that will do it if you have any more questions about this microphone leave them in the comments and i'll try to get back to you as soon as i can if you found this fun interesting or helpful thumbs up if you thought it sucked a big bag of dongs give me a big old thumbs down if you want more subscribe by clicking the logo in the corner and if you are interested in this microphone i will link it in the description and lastly don't forget to vote for the microphones you want reviewed next as well as following me on all the social media stuff links to everything are in the video description down below and i think that will do it i will see you all later thank you guys for watching 